how's it going guys it's Chris from Patriotic Cigar Page I'm finally doing the first part of the Glen Levitt with the cigar pairing as you can see I have the Glen Levitt 14 and I was going to pair it with the Oliva Series V Melania which I did amazing cigar and amazing scotch um, I poured myself some scotch in the glass not on the rocks when I smoked it when I tried it with the cigar it was on the rocks so I want to see the differences between uh, ice and no ice so let's uh, get into the clips of me smoking the cigar. I'll let you guys know what I thought about the pairing, and then I'll get back to you guys on the scotch. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So guys, initial light of the cigar, I got minimal spice from the cigar guys. Um, so this is the Olivo Series V Milano um, Ecuadorian Sumatra Leaf Wrapper. Um, binder and fillers are long fillers from um, Nicaragua. It is said to be some of their oldest prized uh, tobacco from Condega and Esteli. So um, I do get that spiciness coming from the Sumatra. This is supposed to be a full body cigar. Um, as you can see, I tasted uh, my first ever uh, Glenda 14 right there, and um, right away I was taken back by the smoothness of the scotch, and then um, I did get that little spiciness from the cigar, so it paired very well. Very, very sweet um, scotch and very spicy cigar in the beginning, but then um, as it goes by, I started so Other than the spiciness that I got from the cigar, it was spicy, but it wasn't too crazy, nothing that really punched in the mouth. Um, the cigar was just a well-balanced cigar right from the light. Um, usually cigars, Maduros and stuff like that, initial light you get a punch in the face from the spiciness, but this uh, cigar, you can tell the tobacco is aged very well. It was right from the beginning, it was a well bent, slight spice in the tip of the tongue, but once you uh, held that smoke in your mouth, you could taste the creaminess and the smoothness coming from the cigar. Um, so from what the website said of the Glen Levitt, I definitely see that smoothness coming from the Glen Levitt 14 Cognac cask. I mean, right away, I got a nice fruitiness from it. Very, very smooth. Um, it kind of tasted like it was some infused uh, honey whiskey, um, which it's not. Um, it definitely reminded me of the sweetness, kind of like a Jack Daniels honey, um, which is really nice because this is just straight uh, scotch. It's not infused with anything um, in that sort. So very, very smooth cigar um, and very, very smooth uh, scotch. So. From the beginning, it was a, I could tell right away it's gonna be an amazing pairing. It's gonna be a very uh, enjoyable um, pairing. But yeah, so I liked how there was a slight spiciness, so the sweetness from the scotch was really cutting into that. And then um, in the back of it, you get the sweet, uh, the chocolate, chocolatiness from the cigar. Um, so let's see what happened down the midway portion and if any of the notes and the aroma had changed from the cigar. And if I get um, a different flavor from the scotch because of the ice, you know, melting um, throughout me drinking it. So let's get it down to the midway portion. So guys, midway portion of the cigar, I mean, the spice just pretty much went away. It was a, more of a smooth, uh, sweet cigar, um, very enjoyable. I mean, the I never got a bitterness from that cigar at all. Um, perfect burn, by the way. It was an amazing burn. Um, the ash was nice and white, uh, not a dark ash. So that is just to show you how much time they've put into aging this tobacco to make sure it's fermented well and just you get the most out of that beautiful tobacco. Um, when it came down to the scotch, um, I was really enjoying it. Like this 14-year uh, uh, Cognac cast Glenlivet 14 
has to be one of the smoothest uh, scotches that I've ever had. Amazing, amazing uh, flavors. Um, I do get that fruitiness, that honey um, from the description of the website. Um, I do get a, I did get a little slight, um, like that. They, they talked about more of a cinnamon and a spiciness. I get that now that I'm drinking it without any ice. I do get that little spicy cinnamon uh, flavors from the scotch, um, which I'm really enjoying, especially uh, outside where it's cold. It's about like 30 some degrees out here in Arizona right now. So that spiciness in the, the scotch uh, is really nice outside. Um, but yeah, guys, right now I'm, I'm enjoying this. I mean, I should have actually paired it um, without any ice when I smoked, when I drank it as I was pairing it with the cigar. Cause I mean, it's just an amazing, amazing scotch, nice and smooth. I am tasting more of that spiciness, like I said. Um, but the cigar guys, I, I cannot, um, it's definitely a recommended uh, pairing, a 14 year Glen Levitt Konya cask and the uh, Oliva series V Milano. Um, it was very, very enjoyable. A good balance between the sweetness of the cigar and the sweetness of the scotch. But you also get a little small hint of spiciness in the back. Um, but the scotch was just going down super smooth. Um, definitely, if you're trying to get somebody into scotch or any type of whiskey, I definitely recommend the Glen Level 14 just because it was super smooth. It won't put people out to where they'll be scared to drink it. Um, because an amazing pairing a very enjoyable pairing and a very it was a i enjoyed making this video because i mean when you get to drink scotch or any type of whiskey and an amazing cigar i mean is that just a good time in general but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video um next video will be the glen levitt 12 year uh, double oak i'll be pairing that with the rocket patel decade um let's see if those two pairings go as well as this one did and um, i hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you guys next time